Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, Garage Edition this time. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change out the shocks and struts in a 2006 Nissan Sentra. First thing we're going to have to do is jack up the car and put it on jack stands. jacked up and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take a couple bolts off here from the underneath of the car we're going to have to take this nut off this nut off here remove those bolt that bolt slide this bracket off and then from up here in the engine compartment we're going to have to take these three these three nuts here off so Let's go ahead and start. We're going to start from underneath the vehicle. Make things easier, we're just going to hit everything with a little bit of PB blaster. All I'm doing is knocking this clip out with a screwdriver. So we get the retaining clip off. Oh, there we go. We just just push it in. It was in here like this. We're just going to push it in and pull it around. So there we go. Alright, so now that we got the bottom done, we're going to move up to the top and remove those three. I'm leaving the bolts in the bottom so it holds it in place while we remove the top bolt. Okay, so now we have the three bolts on the top disconnected. We have the brake line disconnected. We're going to go ahead and take these two bolts out. When we take the bottom one out, we're going to support the bottom of the vehicle. Pull that out. Now we should just be able to pull this right off. There we go, we got it disconnected. Now I'm just gonna move that out of the way and just work it out. All right, so now we got the, the whole shock and or strut removed. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble this.
got our new struts here. I'm going to go ahead and cut them open. All right, so we're just going to look at it, make sure we got the same part. Looks good. We're going to remove this because we're not going to need it. Okay. I'm going to go grab some cardboard. And we're going to put some cardboard here so we can take this, disassemble this and put the different parts around. All right, so now we have our spring compressing kit. Go ahead and take that apart. Save that so we can return it. Now you can just rent these at your uh, auto parts store, and then when you bring them back, you get a, a discount back on them. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, slide it on the strut here, the lowest point we can get, and then we're going to put the top on, and then we're just going to push these pins to lock it in place, and then we're going to do the same on the other side, pull the pins, We want to get these as best we can to go straight across from each other. Just going to tighten them up by hand right now. Now we need a three quarter inch socket. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. I want to try to do this as evenly as possible. All right, so what you have here is you have a little nub on the end of the strut here that you've got to try to get another wrench on. And at the same time, you got to use an offset wrench in order to be able to spin it. I was having a hard time finding the right wrench, so I ended up eventually going to the adjustable wrench, and that allowed me to get it going fairly well. Um, once I got it to a point where it got relatively loose I was able to go ahead and reach underneath and hold the boot up and that held it tight until I could get the nut off this off what we're going to do is we're just going to lay everything down in order we get that I'm going to pull this out put it there then we're going to pull the shock out Grab the new shot. Take the nut off. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and charge this a couple times. We're gonna push it down, let it come up.
One. Two. We're just going to do that five times. Just going to knock any dust and dirt off of this. Clean this up a bit. Ring back on. Grab it. Slide it up. Make sure the lowest part is seated. Slide the boot back in. Put it in place. Slide that on. Grab the nut. And we're going to put the nut in. Now we're going to do the whole process again, tightening that down. Eight inch fits it, so that's good. All right, so that's bottomed out. Everything's good. We're just going to make sure the spring is back in the right place here. Turn so it's locked out. Now, just like we did before, what we're going to do is we're just going to loosen these up. Okay, you got to watch out for any pinch points. We're just going to slowly position this, making sure everything stays in the right place. All right, so now that we got it all reassembled, we're just gonna bring it back up. We're gonna we're gonna put those three screw holes or bolts back through those holes. So we're just gonna bring it in, open the hole, work our way around all the cables. Now that it's in.
All right, so the new strut is in. I'm just gonna be able to turn this until we get this into place. I'm just gonna bring it in. All right, guys, so that's it. We're all set with that one. Now we got to do the left-hand one. 